good YouTube? It's Gabriel with another fan TV. Back at another video, like the content of this video. Go ahead, smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. Um, look, we're gonna hop right into it, man. The Ravens and the Lamar Jackson did not agree to a contract extension. Okay, that's the news. We and it's not surprising. I want to get that out there first. It's not surprising. Doesn't mean that it's not disappointing. It's very disappointing. Now. The thing that's interesting is the fact that obviously Lamar set up his deadline for um, for today, Friday, and said that, you know, after this contract contract talks would cease, at least for this season. All right. The surprising part is that the Ravens want the need to release a statement on their Twitter account saying that we have a contract, contract agreement. It's not like this was some thing where, like, you have to say this. You know what I mean? It's just It was just kind of weird that the, the Ravens official Twitter said, put this statement out there. Really strange, right? Uh, two, I know a lot of people are going to blame Eric DaCosta. I, and, and I get it. He's the general manager of the team. He controls the contracts in a sense. But I think we need to go one higher. You got to look at Steve Bashotti. I talked about Steve Bashotti in the last video. I'm going to talk about Steve Bashotti in this video. You don't, this is not how you, this is not how you negotiate with a franchise quarterback. You don't tell your franchise quarterback, hey, bet on yourself, win a Super Bowl, and then come back and talk to us, and we'll give you anything you want. Yes, it happened with Joe Flacco. Yes, it worked with Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco and Lamar Jackson aren't the same players. They aren't the same level of talent. Okay? Joe Flacco bet on himself to get more money out of the Ravens. True. Lamar Jackson bet on himself to get more money out of the Ravens. True. That's about where the comparisons end. All right? We got to be honest about who Joe Flacco was. All right? We love Joe Flacco, won a lot of playoff games. Joe Cool in the playoffs, January Joe. Love Joe Flacco. He's not Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is the MVP, the most dynamic offensive player the Ravens have ever had in franchise history. Okay? Not only that, um, he's the leader of the team, great role model. He he checks every single box that you would say, hey, give this guy the money right now. All right? Now, we got to go back two years. The Ravens have done nothing in this contract situation with Lamar but cost themselves money. That's all they've done. They could have signed Lamar for the Josh Allen contract a couple years ago, or probably a little bit more since, you know, by the time he had already won the MVP, probably a little bit more than the Josh Allen contract and been fine, been done with it. This one had to come up for another couple years. Instead, they waited once again. Now we're here, Okay. Now, listen, I'm not saying the sky is falling. It's the end of the world, things like that. There will be Ravens fans that will say that today, and you got to let them have their day, right? It is what it is. But for me, it's 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 bad steps by the organization, okay? Because the main thing is, if, if I'm outside looking in, and I see that the Baltimore Ravens won't pay their franchise quarterback a certain amount of money, we don't know what that money, we don't know what that dollar amount is, right? But let's just say I'm a free agent, and I see that. The reason guys are coming here because they want to play with Lamar Jackson. Well, let, let, let's let, say that right there. Now Lamar Jackson's not here. I'm a free agent. I see that the team like the Ravens, they don't want to play guys what they're worth. Why would I want to come to the organization? Not paying Lamar Jackson is setting a bad precedent. Whether Lamar Jackson wins the Super Bowl or not this year is kind of irrelevant to whether or not he's going to get paid by another team if that happens to be the case. Okay. Now, look, the Ravens are a couple years away from that possibility, more than likely. They have a chance to franchise tag him twice, which is a route that, that that I personally would hate to see the team go down, okay? Franchise tagging your quarterback usually doesn't work out, all right? Kirk Cousins is obviously a, a prime example of that. They, they franchised him twice. He went on to Minnesota, got a fully guaranteed deal. But look at the kind of name I'm mentioning with the franchise twice. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is a middle-of-the-pack average quarterback. Oh, no, above average quarterback. Kirk Cousins can be good on, on some occasions, okay? But he's still probably, what, 12 to 15? And we're talking about quarterback range, somewhere around there. That's the kind of guy we're talking about with Lamar Jackson. It shouldn't be in the same conversation. Russell Wilson got paid. He's on a decline. He's 33 years old. Pay Lamar Jackson. Kyler Murray just got paid. You can't tell me what, what has Lamar Jackson done in the playoffs. What has Kyler Murray done in the playoffs? What has Kyler Murray done, period, besides have the Cardinals start off red hot and then fall off a cliff to end the season, then they get to the playoffs last year, get absolutely embarrassed on national TV by the eventual Super Bowl champion, uh, Los Angeles Rams. What has Kyler Murray done? What has Josh Allen done? When he got paid, Josh Allen was just breaking out. And even now with Josh Allen, obviously he's gotten way better. He's an MVP caliber quarterback. 
I saw what he did yesterday versus the Rams. I picked him to win that game. I'm not surprised by what they did. He's super talented, right? But let's be honest. Josh Allen has what? I believe two playoff wins, correct? Or, yeah, I think he has two playoff wins maybe. It, was, it might be three. Somebody correct me on that. But the but point being, you can say all you want about, oh, this guy has to prove this and that. These guys that are in Lamar Jackson's tier of quarterbacks aren't so far and away above him, away from him. Okay. You pay franchise QBs what the market dictates. And listen, even if you want to say scratch out Deshaun Watson's contract, which is fine. $235 million fully guaranteed. If you don't want to do that, fine. I, I'm not going to complain about that. Whatever. But if it came to the point where you couldn't up the Russell Wilson contract by $20 million, get Lamar Jackson's $180, $30 million, get the $195, that's an issue. That's an issue. And you, I have to question what Steve Bashotti thinks about when he goes to the contract, when he goes to negotiate with quarterbacks, because this is the only position where he does this, right? And I have to say Bashotti, why? Because Ozzy used to be the GM when it was Flacco. Eric DeCosta is the GM with Lamar Jackson. And who? What's the common denominator? Steve Bashotti. So you can't tell me that. Oh well, you know this is this is coming from Eric DeCosta, EDC, whatever. Da da da. Oh, this came from Ozzy. The guy at the top has the money. He has the money. When you have to, when you do these contracts, forget the $245 million. I mentioned this in the last video. Forget the $245 million. What's the guy? It's about the 165. That 165 has to go in the escrow automatically as soon as the contract is signed because that money has to be there because it's guaranteed. Okay? Now, Bashali is not going to save himself money by not paying Lamar Jackson now. So it makes me question the financials of Bashali. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But it's weird. It's weird that every time a quarterback is, comes up to get paid, the offer's not right, and you say, well, guess what? You come into my office after you win the Super Bowl, you can get whatever you want. As a businessman, as a smart businessman who grew to be a billionaire, right, assuming that, that that's the, so his financial status, who grew to be a billionaire, who does business like that? Who does business like that? When you have an asset who's done nothing but make you money, be successful, and know that if this asset was to leave you would do nothing but hurt your current company, right? That's how you, that, that's, that's business. How do you look at Lamar Jackson's contract and look at what he's done for the Ravens so far and say, eh, prove it another, prove it another year. It's silly. It's silly. So the Ravens and Lamar Jackson don't agree to a contract. They still got to play on Sunday versus the Jets. Uh, Lamar Jackson is going to play this entire season barring any kind of injury or anything like that. And that's what it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, I would love to talk about football, but we, in my in my honest opinion, I can't go with Lamar Jackson not having a contract and not talk about it. It's something that has to be discussed, has to be said. Okay, um, I've you know done a couple of these videos back to back to back, but it is what it is. You know, Lamar Jackson is the Ravens franchise right now, and we can say what we want. Oh, we like Tyler Huntley. Cool, I like Tyler Huntley. Is Tyler Huntley Lamar Jackson once again? No, that's not. That's not hard. That's not controversial. That's not a stepping out there. He cannot do the same things Lamar Jackson can do with his arm or his legs. Lamar Jackson is a better thrower and a better player than Tyler Huntley. These aren't things that should be controversial or even needed to be said, right? So the Ravens don't pay Lamar Jackson. Um, and, you know, we got to get, we, Ravens got a game on Sunday. I don't think it's going to affect Lamar Jackson. He seems to be pretty confident and cool and collected about what's going on. So that's good to see. I think his hair's on straight. His hair's always been on straight because he's been nothing but a model uh, uh, role as far as a what you want your franchise quarterback to look like and act like and behave. That's been Lamar Jackson. So, Bashadi, I'm looking at you. If there is some possible way in the next year or two years that Lamar Jackson ends up a free agent, ends up on another team, Sell the team. Just go ahead and sell the team. Cut your losses. Uh, that's it for me today, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.